hey guys, you are not actually too old to become a helicopter pilot. Wait a second, doesn't that sound like a bit of an oxymoron compared to what I said? A contradictory to what I said a bunch of uh, videos ago when I said, hey, are you too old to be a helicopter pilot? And I basically went about telling people how if they're past a certain age demographic, I was kind of using the uh, the 25 to 45 kind of range. If you're past that, then you're too old to become a helicopter pilot. Well, that video, interestingly enough, I got a lot of feedback from that. And it was for a very specific purpose that I did that video. The people that I was talking to during that one were the people that were looking to do their helicopter license for the purpose of getting work as a helicopter pilot. They wanted to become commercial helicopter pilots. They wanted to work as a pilot in the industry. And I was giving them a bit of an idea, a bit of an overview, that if you're in those, in that sweet spot of the range between sort of 25 and, and 45, really, you know, 20 to 40 would even be better, um, then you have the highest likelihood of getting a job as a helicopter pilot. It doesn't mean that you can't be outside of that range and can't get a, a, a job, but that that's what that video was about. Today's video is about age and a relationship to being able to actually get your helicopter license for the purpose of flying for pleasure. How old is the oldest person that I've trained to fly? I've trained a lot of people. Um, haven't tallied it up lately, but it's probably 200 and something people that I've trained to fly, how to fly helicopters for a variety of purposes, private and commercial. I think the oldest was 72 years old. That's pretty good. And uh, you know, I find obviously there, there's lots of things we can talk about on this. What I want to specifically focus on right now is your ability to obtain a license and then safely fly as a pilot, uh, maybe by your own helicopter or just maybe go flying uh, with students and, or with, um, with a check pilot or something like that, a safety pilot. Now, you have to ask yourself, what's the purpose? Why, why do I want to get this license? Because we have kind of a, a spectrum when we get to, let's say, the upper age bracket. So let's say we're getting um, past in, in, into your 50s, late 50s, and then a range right up to basically when you can't get a medical anymore, whatever age that happens to be, into your 80s even or something like that. We have to ask the question, you know, what's the purpose? Why are you doing this? Because if you're in, in the age range where you're, you're getting into your 70s and beyond, it's going to be hard, um, depending on your fitness level and so forth, to um, get a license, pass the license, have a you know a, a f physical fitness, passing your medical, and and to be able to fly you know passengers around and, and things like that, even if it's for private purposes, um, it's going to start to get harder the the older you get because you know you get for, more forgetful and there's different things. And, and again, I, this is I'm using generalizations, but this is typically what trends to happen in these uh, later age ranges. Now. If you're up in that bracket and you're, you're saying, listen, Misha, I'm in my mid-70s, but this has been my dream my entire life. All I want to do is fly a helicopter. I don't care. I don't want to own one. I don't, want, I don't care about, you know, uh, taking people out on, on flights and things like that. All I want to do is just fly. Well, you're never too old for that because you can start your license, you can you know, come for flights, do training, and, and you can fly the helicopter and enjoy that experience, and, and you can do that safely with a flight instructor and so on and so forth. Now, that instructor is going to evaluate with, uh, with you whether you're going to be safe to actually go solo and fly that helicopter solo by yourself. Obviously, you're going to have to have medical, so if you can um, be of a physical fitness where you can pass that medical, then you're good to go as well and from that regard. And then once you're done, even if you, you get to a point and you do graduate and you do complete a license, then maybe you don't want to buy a helicopter. You, you, you feel like, you know what, I'm not sure that it'd be the safest if I was out there flying by myself. Then that's fine. You, you, know, you just hire an instructor, they hop in with you, you go on a flight, you know, pick an area that you, you love flying somewhere beautiful, and then just go flying for the purpose of just simply flying. Now, if your motivation is different, you're in a, a time of life where you say, listen, you know, my, my younger years, I've dreamt of flying, I wanted to do it, but I didn't have the cash, I didn't have the resources, the time, whatever it happened to be. But now you are in that uh, range of that, that time of life where things are lining up and you say, you know what, I'd love to, to buy my own helicopter, I want to get a license, buy my own helicopter, fantastic. Are you too old for that? 
Uh, I can't personally tell you that, but I but I can tell you that I've trained people, you know, anywhere from you know let's let's call them middle aged people, so somewhere in their 50s, uh, right up to like I said, you know, 72 years old. And um, I, one of my first students, actually, he was an amazing student, really really good. Um, he was kind of in retirement age when I taught him how to fly. Um, that was a lot of years ago. He's still flying today, and um, you know he, he, he takes his sons more along with him and things like that, uh, who are also pilots because you know it's good to have uh, to, to have company and so forth um, people that, that can fly with you but you know he's he's getting older to a point where um, you know it's it's uh, maybe better for him to have uh, people along on, on certain flights and stuff like that but I think the point that I want to make is you know are you too old to do this I think at this stage you know for this purpose in this video that I'm talking about right now you're never too old for that so for all of you that watched my first video and said Misha I'm gonna stick it to you I'm not too old for this um, or they thought to themselves what is he talking about you know I feel young I feel good I just want to do this for the for the sake of pleasure uh, for fun for fun all the power to you that's what this video is for it's to tell you that you're not too old to do it if you're in the 50s 60s 70s maybe even 80s probably not 90s but maybe 90s um, and you feel like doing it go for it if this has been something that you've been dreaming about um, why not do it? You know, do it in, in a safe manner. Make sure that you're uh, taking as many safety precautions as you can and as you need to, to be able to make sure that it's a completely safe operation. But why not? Fulfill that dream, go for it. You deserve it. You've worked hard for it. I look forward to seeing you someday up, up in the skies, hopefully. I look forward to that time when, uh, you know, I get to hear these stories because I get to hear back from you guys as well. When somebody emails me and they say, you know what? I did it, I went for it, I'm X years old, and I finally fulfilled this, this dream that I've had forever. I've done it. Thank you for that inspiration. That, that's, you know, that's what excites me, um, hearing back from you guys and, and telling me your stories about uh, the things that you've done. Really, really exciting stuff. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and we're gonna talk to you guys on the next one. See ya.